Hello everyone. Today my concluding lecture on redox chemistry. Today it will be on effect of complex formation on EMF of half cells. Uh, suppose you are given a mixture of iron and copper for estimating quantitatively and uh, with the help of iodine potassium iodide you are titrating them iodometrically equivalent amount of iodine would be liberated but the fact is that if you titrate the overall solution then the whole iron will be estimated first followed by copper why because iron is more oxidizing than iodine iodide system and definitely it is more oxidizing than the cupric cuprous system also so here you find that iron has the more oxidizing power it is more positive redox potential so it would first oxidize iodide to liberate iodine after the whole iron is consumed then copper would start to liberate iodine and then the copper will also be estimated so you cannot distinguishly estimate iron and copper so what we have to do we have to mask iron with the help of potassium bifluoride why because in presence of fluoride ion iron forms some complexes which help fe3 plus ion to decrease its concentration and with the help of this the formal potential of the ferric ferrous system decreases and it becomes less than the iodine iodide system so here you find that the ferric ion with the help of fluoride ion forms this complex and uh, it has the certain equilibrium constant value so we have the uh, fe3 plus constant like this one now in the nernst equation which is e equal to e 0 plus 0 0.05 diamond 1 plus log iron 3 plus over iron 2 plus concentrations here in place of this we would put this value and after having put this value we get an equation like this which gives this part which is likely to be merged with this one to get the new formal potential and we get the new formal potential of 0 0.475 which is less than that of iodine iodide system so as the reduction potential decreases it had been 0 0.77 now it has decreased to 0 0.475 so it crossed past the value of 0 0.54 of iodine so the oxidizing power of ferric ions decreases and this iron is now masked now on the other hand in the mixture of iron and copper what happens that copper does not form any kind of complex with fluoride ion now what is the scenario the scenario is that iodine iodide system has the redox potential of 0 0.57 volt the ferric ferrous system in presence of fluoride ion has changed its formal potential below 0 0.57 on the other hand the cupric cuprous system has the formal potential of plus 0 0.86 it is much higher than iodine iodide system in presence of potassium iodide due to precipitation effect so which is the highest oxidizing agent here now here copper is the highest oxidizing agent here so on introdu introduction of potassium iodide in the solution being more oxidizing than iron the potassium iodide only will be oxidized by the cupric ions and only equivalent amount of iodine would be liberated with respect to the presence of the cupric ions thus by masking iron with the help of potassium bifluoride we can estimate copper iodometrically so this is the way how we apply this thermal potential in estimating an iron copper mixture and then later iron would be uh, estimated by the help of other methods.
We have another example here. Look here. Zinc 2 plus. Zinc. This system has the redox potential minus 0 0.76 volt. So it is highly negative compared to that of copper. Okay. Copper had, as we have seen, it is uh, uh, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.3. It is cupric cu copper system. If it is Cu2 plus Cu system, then it is 0 0.33. Uh, okay. 0 0.34 plus 0 0.34. Now, in presence of potassium cyanide, copper forms complexes. This is another effect of complex formation. Thus, the redox potential of copper becomes much lower, that means much negative, and it crosses past the minus 0 0.76 volt value than that of zinc, and it becomes the formal potential of this system becomes less than minus 0 0.76 volt. So, in that case, zinc becomes oxidizing agent, copper becomes the reducing agent. So, in general, what happens? In general, copper oxidizes zinc, but here zinc would oxidize copper. So, copper displaces zinc this way from a solution of zinc salt containing excess potassium cyanide. So, what is the role of this potassium cyanide? It helps in formation of copper complex. This complex is formed and helps the formal potential of the Cu2 plus Cu system decreases and it becomes much negative than that of zinc. So, that is all about complex formation. Here, our last topic the frost diagram or the frost Ebsworth diagram which indicates the stability of different oxidation states in the y axis we put different free energy values and in the x axis different oxidation states so here manganese has several oxidation states it is plus 7 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 and 0 so among all these uh, six type of oxidation states it is found that the Mn2 plus is the most stable because it has the highest negative free energy value free energy change value so this is the most stable and this is the least stable that that is why MnO4 is has the highest oxidizing power among all on another diagram nitrogen's different oxidation states have been plotted in the acid medium as well as in the basic medium. We can find here that in the minus 3, that is the lowest oxidation state, nitrogen is more stable in the acidic medium. Look here is the blue line. So, blue line is below that of the black line. On the other hand, the highest oxidation state of nitrogen which is plus 5, here nitrogen becomes more stable in the basic medium here you look the black line is existing below the blue line so nitrogen's plus 5 state is more stable in basic solution whereas minus 3 state is more stable in acidic solution so that's all about the frost diagram or the frost episode diagram and that is the end of this chapter now the questions here uh, how is normal hydrogen electrode prepared? Metallic iron dissolves in copper sulfate solution. Explain. Calculate the potential of a normal hydrogen electrode at standard temperature and pressure if the H plus ion concentration is 0.1 molar. Next question is why are electrode potential for transition metals very low? Then why is hydrogen a reducing agent? All these uh, answers are provided in your notes. So this way we have a set of 20 questions here. So you have to answer all of them. If you have any query then ask me. Thank you.